Hello everyone, I'm Seth with Exotic Motorsports and this is our 2015 Subaru WRX with 59,387 miles. It does have some pretty regular wear and tear, some cosmetic stuff across the front as a car with 60,000 miles being six years old wood. Got a few defects in the paint, kind of some rock chips, some scuffing there. It's not perfect, it's probably not going to win a car show, but it does run and drive great. call that a scratch but I'm really not sure what that is I want to say gouge but it looks like it's surface level it's not deep I can't really feel it in my finger um, so there's a mark it looks like at one point it was attempted to be paint matched you can see the difference sort of there in the shade of blues not sure what's going on there so there's a little bit of wear in the front nothing super crazy the driver's side fender looks good Front driver's side wheel, nice kind of goldish tan wheels, they look good. Let's have some rock blocks mud flaps. I believe that's the brand if I'm not mistaken. Kind of the uh, competitor to Rally Armor, another really big mud flap name for uh, Subarus. Driver's side mirror. Just have a little bit of wear in the clear coat. Looks a little faded. Driver's side door, we've got a scratch up here. Otherwise, the door looks good. We've got a few marks in the side skirt down here. Rear driver's side door is scratched in the middle. Driver's side rear quarter panel, looks good. Rear driver's side wheel, looks great. No rash, no imperfections, the wheel looks awesome. Uh, down here on the rear bumper, we do have some very light scuffing on the side, like something just barely grazed it. Scratch under the driver's side tail light. on the back bumper we do have a few imperfections like that and then also it's kind of difficult to point out I apologize for all the shadows um, so we've got these marks here which are pretty noticeable I'm not even trying to pull a fast one on you guys you can definitely see these so the back bumper has definitely had uh, some love Somebody may have backed into something and then tried to kind of fix it not exactly the correct way. And also that uh, third brake light down there is not there. Passenger side rear quarter panel, small scratch at the corner, otherwise it looks good. Rear passenger wheels. There's just the rear passenger wheel, singular. Uh, looks pretty good. It does have a little bit of wear around the lip, but it's not very noticeable. Here we have a tiny dent in the wheel arch, and then we have another pretty noticeable defect there on the side. Scratches there in the middle. It does have a luggage rack on the top. Nice roof rack. Some of the finish is peeling though and exposing the bare metal. It's like that on pretty much all four corners. On the rear passenger door, we also have a few more of these blemishes. 
There's like three or four, maybe five on that rear passenger door. Uh, front passenger door is clean. No, no issues there. Passenger mirror looks good. Side skirts, again, do have some scratching. Not super noticeable unless the light's really hitting it. Front passenger fender. No issues there. There's a few spots I missed in the hood. Up towards the top, there's some scratching and a few more uh, blemishes up there. But although this car does sound like it's in pretty rough shape, I will go ahead and walk around it from a one foot distance to give you a better big picture idea of the overall condition of the quality. Walking around the car from a one foot distance is a lot more indicative of what you might notice on a day to day basis. It kind of gives you a better overall idea of the condition of the car. Here at Exotic Motorsports, we do these comprehensive walk around videos to give you the confidence and peace of mind you need to purchase a vehicle from us sight unseen if you choose to do so. So hopefully this will give you a better big picture idea of the overall condition of the car instead of letting all of the little defects deter you. It's really not as ugly as I made it out to sound. We just want you to know everything that may be wrong with the car for the sake of honesty and transparency. So here on the interior, we do have this kind of uh, plastic -y door panel material. And then we have some uh, leather inserts there for the armrest. One touch uh, window for the driver, driver window, power locks, power mirrors. We do have manual cloth seats. Very good condition, these seats look great. WRX floor mats. They're not all weather, they are carpeted. It does have some carbon fiber interior trim pieces. And if you were paying attention earlier, you see the uh, car had some badge overlays that actually matched this exact same pattern. So I think that's really cool that the uh, owner was able to tie that together with the badge overlay and the um, shifter boot. car fires right up we've got no warning lights no issues idles very smooth single zone climate control it does have an automatic option though pretty standard uh, stereo it does have Bluetooth and you have USB and three and a half millimeter auxiliary as well we've got Bluetooth controls here cruise control trunk release and traction control over here it does have a nice, very um, kind of ergonomic info screen there uh, involving climate control. And then you have your boost levels, time, outside temperature. And when you throw it in reverse, lifting up the collar, the back, you get a backup camera. So that's nice. Until the uh, VA generation, uh, these ones. Most Subarus didn't have backup cameras, so that's definitely nice to have. We've got an auto dimming rear view mirror with a compass and universal garage door remotes. Not sure if you can see them there, 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 and there. Passenger seat looks really good. Back seats look just as nice as the front. Come on, camera. There we go. Back seats look great. The interior of this car looks brand new. Nice clean cup holders. E-brake with no wear on it really. Very light wear on the steering wheel with only having some minor finish issues there. Um, but here at the top and around the other side we've got no wear at all. All of the buttons look good. Usually the window switches, door lock buttons, climate control buttons may have some wear but all of these look great. So let's go ahead to check out the engine bay. So aftermarket modifications, the car does have this uh, roof rack. I do believe it's dual branded. I'll have to double check that. So I don't want to tell you it's an expensive name brand one and have it not be. Let's go look at that real quick. Uh, so this is actually an Export Express. 
what it seems to be labeled as. That might just be a Thule wind, wind blocker in the front there. So that's the roof rack system. And then for the rest of the car, I do believe uh, it's all stock other than the cat back exhaust. And then we do have an air oil separator, which is very, very good to have on any um, EJ or FA motor, this being the FA20 DIT. This helps keep the um, oil vapors out of the intake. Helps your engine run a lot healthier and will make this car last a lot longer. So definitely good on the previous owner for doing that. But it sounds really smooth. Idles great, it drives great, super fun, goes through all the gears. Uh, if you hear the engine kind of revving up and revving down a little bit, uh, the compressor cycling, I do have the AC on in there. So that is our 2015 Subaru WRX. It's a great car, tons of interior space, very comfortable, very practical, and still very fun to drive. If you have any further questions, please feel free to check out this sales listing on our website at exoticmotorsportsok.com. Thank you for watching.